So for this project, we'll be going to need a Raspberry Pi Pico, an OLED display, 20 pieces of SMD tactile switches of dimensions 3mm by 6mm, a LiPo battery, a LiPo charge circuitry, and a switch. Also, we need a PCB. It has a matrix of buttons for our calculator. I have made this single layer PCB, so I have to solder the wires externally to create the connections for this row by bridging these gaps. These pads here are for OLED. The Pico will be situated at the back of the PCB and the connection from the Pico will come forward to these pads and thereafter it will connect the rows and the columns of the matrix. If you wish to get a PCB manufactured, via services like GLC PCB or PCBVA, then I have added the Gerber file for the two layer PCB so you won't have to bridge any connections and the Raspberry Pi Pico can be soldered directly on the back of the PCB. So after soldering the bridging wires and the button, it's now time to add our Raspberry Pi Pico. We'll be using a double sided tape to stick the Raspberry Pi Pico in the back of the PCB. Now we will connect wires from our Raspberry Pi to these ports which will in turn connect it to the rows and columns pin of our matrix. After all the connections to button matrix, now we can move forward to connect OLED display and solder the STA and SCL pins to I2C port 0 of Pico, GPIO number 20 and 21. I have also attached the LiPo battery and the charge circuitry with an on off switch and now it's time to program our Raspberry Pi Pico and for that we will be going to use MicroPython through Thony IDE. It is pretty simple to install and I have provided the link below to download it. Now first connect the Raspberry Pi Pico to our computer while pressing the boot select button. We will now flash the MicroPython firmware using the Thony IDE. Before going for the main program, we need to install a library for our OLED display. After that, we can save our main program to the flash memory of Pico. And there you go, the Pico is now programmed with the PyCalc firmware. Before seeing the features, let's create a case for our PyCalc. As the PCB is designed in EagleCAD, I will be using Fusion 360 Sync feature of EagleCAD to transfer the 3D files of PCB to Fusion 360 software. Thereafter, I will create an enclosure around that and send it for 3D printing. For better usability, I have printed the numbers and symbols on a plain sheet of paper, then stick it onto the keys. 
So let's move forward to the assembly part. First we will stick the switch and the charge circuitry using some hot glue. Then the battery using some double sided tape. After that insert the keypad into the grid made for it in the top part. And next comes the PCB we made. The design is made with indents on both the side and it will snap fit without any requirements of screw or nut bolt. Now let's turn it on. It will start with this cool pie calc logo and it will stay there until you press any button. We can also use the brackets to define priority in the equation. The button on the bottom left corner is for the shift case. Like to add the bracket, we first need to click the S button, then the bracket button. And if there is any error in the equation, like this one, it will pop up on the screen and to move forward, you need to click the clear button. All the files needed to make this project and a detailed written description is attached below.